Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, August 12, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we did pull back it quite a bit today after the CPI number. It kind of is expected for this to continue pulling back. And uh, the 20 exponential should be around the, where we uh, could find support. Break below that, and the 50 moving average is down here at the 91.89. And uh, yes, also, this was an area of massive resistance in the past. We saw it here where we broke down. We also tested it a few weeks ago and broke down. And yet again, now, if we break above this level here, then we are most likely going towards 94.14 and so on. And I think it's just a matter of time. We were significant, fairly um, overbought and it had been rallying quite significantly. So pull back at this point, as long as we don't break below the 200 moving average, I think that we are just going to see this going higher. Um, the US dollar will most likely um, start to strengthen um, in the next uh, few months and the next probably the next year, getting back towards the levels that we saw uh, prior to the coronavirus so let's look at oil so yes oil had a very volatile day so um, well Biden went out and said that uh, OPEC should start um, producing more oil and that kind of freaked out the market uh, but uh, but in the end of the session it rallied so OPEC or United States is not a part of OPEC and um, basically Biden has no say in OPEC what OPEC does and so on. So so it kind of, yeah, it, it made uh, made this market fall, but eventually it rallied. But this is not a very healthy market at this point. It has been making lower highs. You can see here, here and here. It has kind of made lower lows, but not really. Uh, we found uh, 65 to be the very lows. If we drop below here, then this could tumble all the way down to the 200 moving average, roughly at the $60. Uh, we also, if we rally from here, we could be making a V-shape, um, um, a V-shape uh, uh, structure. And that could be very, very bullish. So this is uh, from 64 roughly 64 and uh, this is around so ten dollars so roughly we should be rallying around around 84 dollars if we were to break out of this v-shaped uh, formation but that is to be seen macd is um, is uh, bearish at this point stochastic is bullish and the rsi is bullish as uh, well so let's look at natural gas So natural gas uh, found support at the 20 exponential moving average and then started rallying. Uh, it is getting fairly overstretched. I, I hesitate to uh, buy into this market. I definitely do not hold it for very long if I buy into this market. I tend to buy it at these levels here when it gets very close to massive support. But definitely do not hold it for overnight or don't hold it over the weekends. Um, if we break below the 20 exponential, then we are dropping significantly towards the 250 moving average down here at 3.6. Uh, MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI. So momentum has been to the downside, but people are still willing to buy it here at support levels. 4.4 um, should be as far as this market go goes. If we draw, go further than that, then we are going to target the previous highs here all the way up towards it. Five, but that is going to stretch it really there will be massive amount of selling occurring after that and this is kind of market where i expect something like this to happen at this point but as long as weather conditions in the united states are as they are then demand for natural gas will continue to increase and so will the price so let's look at copper so copper is still struggling at the 50 or 20 exponential moving average. And as long as that is the case, we can expect this to go even further to the downside. MACD is bearish. The Kassik is still bearish, but it looks like we are about to cross the signal line. That could be a uh, bullish indication. And the RSI is flat at this point. And um, 
we could it could basically make the make the case that we are making higher lows. So here, here, and here. So if we rally above the 50 moving average, then we are most likely going to target 4.6 and then beyond that. So there is going to be a lot of investment in infrastructure of all kinds and also in in electric vehicles and so on. So this market is going to increase. Um, so yes, there is a very bright future for copper prices and, and they should be going much, much higher in the next few years, also a few months. So let's look at gold. So gold has had a really, really bad uh, week. We saw this uh, completely collapse uh, when the Chinese market opened um, opened on Monday and uh, it dropped all the way down to uh, support down here at the double bottom and then it bounced. And of course it was significant or stretched. So, so it was always going to rally at this point. But the question is how far we will rally if we don't manage to take out uh, 1762, which is the highest here, then this could just tumble and go back down. And this is kind of like what I expect for this market. US dollar will most likely start to depreciate the next few trading days. And therefore this could go a little bit higher, but as soon as that starts to appreciate again, then this will tumble. And frankly, this should be a warning and uh, breaking below this double bottom here that could send this market all the way down to 1500. Uh, so let's look at platinum. Yes, so platinum has uh, uh, did also break down significantly on Monday and has rallied since, uh, but also here rallies up towards the 20 exponential. That's probably where this will just fade and then go lower. We are most likely going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and 300 moving average. We have a crossing here of the 200 and the uh, 250 moving average. And we didn't have a crossing like that since oh, basically over here. And then we had this massive rally. So this is kind of an indication of a learn long term de uh, decline in this market. There will always be these uh, rallies, but those rallies will most likely be sold into and then will drop even further. So like this and then we'll go even further than that. So probably the bottom of this market is the previous lows here at 847. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium is struggling at the 20 exponential. Rallies up towards the 20 have all been sold into and sold into and then on and on. Breaking below the 200 moving average at 25.53, we'll open the door all the way down to the 300 moving average at 24.28, and then lower than that. We are most likely going to see another crossing off the 200 and the 50 moving average in the next few weeks. 200 moving this way, 50 going this way, and then this market will even go even further, probably towards the levels that we saw prior to the coronavirus and so on. So it went really badly for this market and then it stabilized within this area and that's probably where we're going back to. MACD is flat, stochastic is bearish and the RSI is flat as well. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium is uh, bouncing off the 50 moving average, 20 expansion moving average and uh, occasionally it rallies outside of the bullish band and those are the times where this really falls apart but find support at the 50 bottom of the bullish band and then continues rallying so you can see how far we have gone since april last year where we were 14 29 now we're trading at 25 77 so there has been an absolutely massive rally for 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 aluminium and there it doesn't look like there is any end in sight MACD is flat, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat as well. It looks like, even though the uh, technical indicators are bearish, it looks like we are going to head back towards the top of the bullish band, which is at 26, 40, 40, 48. Drop below the 50, that could open the door back towards 24, 11. So, nickel. So, nickel has a well, massive rally today above the middle of the bullish band, and now it looks like we're going to go back towards uh, testing 20k. 
breaking above 20k, then we are going to see this market really take off to the upside. So also here is a very volatile market. It just fell off a cliff in March this year, and then it has just been in this channel and going higher and higher, bouncing off, especially the 50 moving average. We have seen massive bounces and also the 20 exponential moving average. It's also where we have seen bounces. And as long as this is the case, they will just grind higher, higher to the upside. MACD is bearish still, so Kask still bearish, and RSI is bullish at this point. So let's look at sugar. So sugar really took off, and now we're pulling back a little bit. It's getting very overstretched, and pull back towards the support roughly at around 0 0.1862 or give or take that's the previous highs here and also the previous highs here that's probably as far as this market will go before going higher 20 exponential is moving this way and should also offer a support macd is bullish stochastic is bullish and rsi is flat at this current stage so let's look at cotton so cotton is in a very nice uh, Upper channel this is probably the nicest channel there is at this point for these markets where we are bouncing off the lows and and uh, breaking down from the basically the highs if you have the channel right so fairly like this so there is we are basically at the top at this point and the pullback we have witnessed the pullback today could be going back to the middle of the bullish band or at the bottom of the channel and as long as we're just bouncing here, we will just continue going higher. We are, we have passed uh, these previous highs here. And the next target should be around 0 0.9527. MACD is uh, bullish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa has really taken off to, to the upside. We have not seen a rally like this one for a very long time. But in overall, we are still kind of in a downtrend. So we are getting very overstretched at this, at this point. And I would not be surprised if this just absolutely the next, next week, we see this back down here. So that is kind of way, kind of how this market has been behaving. We saw a rally like similar to this one here, and then it broke down, rallied, and then it broke down, and then yet again, we could see this market uh, breaking down. Is it not until we see and see this market going back towards the previous highs here? I would say that we would, we were basically going to change it to really to the upside. MACD at this point is bullish, the classic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at wheat. So wheat is, uh, well, kind of struggling today. We're struggling around uh, 731. And we could be pulling back towards the um, support level here at the 700. MACD is bullish, the classic is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this point. We're still in uptrend and Target long term market here should be around 763. So, hope you find helpful. You want to support your by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you will join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.